What the fuck? You probably don't know this, but I am a big anime weeb. And since I'm also 24 by 7 hyperactive, no life a person on Discord, I've decided to make an anime emoji guessing game. But it's going to be a Discord bot. And the bot's name is Anime Netting. For those who don't know what it is, it's basically a bot which I developed for giving real time anime news updates. And now, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Before beginning any project, you first gotta choose the text stack. I have decided to use Hikari, which is a Discord API wrapper built for Python, and Lightbulb, which is a command handler made for Hikari. We will be using Neo4j, which is a type of graph database to store data such as emoji IDs, anime titles, etc. And if you don't know what a graph database is, think of it as an anime harem, but instead of people, imagine data which is interconnected. And let's be honest, despite graph databases being complicated, we still gotta agree that they are pretty cool. Then we are gonna use AppWrite to store our emoji files. Basically, it's a backend as a service, but we don't have to use its other features for now. And at last, we will be using FastAPI for intercommunication between the graph database and the Discord bot. Now, coming to the emojis, I have decided to pick 3D emoji set over the 2D emoji set. Sorry, CGI haters, but maybe next time. It is finally time to create our Discord bot. First, I will create the main command group which is challenge and inside this group, I will create sub commands such as challenge start and challenge high scores. Next, I have decided to set a maximum of 3 lives for the game and an initial score starting at 0. As you might have guessed, for every incorrect answer, your lives will increase but you will receive a plus 50 score for every correct answer. With that, the difficulty level will increase after every few rounds. Let's quickly check both the commands. And yep, the commands are showing. Time to implement the basic game architecture which I just discussed. So I will be focusing on creating two main classes which are guess game and guess answer view. Basically the guess game object will handle all the game logic such as increasing score and difficulty. While guess answer view will focus on displaying information such as option buttons and remaining lives. First we will execute the challenge start command. And if we click on a correct option, then we will get plus 50 score. And if we click on an incorrect option, then we will lose a life. Similarly, if we wait for a timeout, then we will automatically lose another life. And if we lose 3 lives, then the game will end. Ok, I will be testing the command. And the external emojis are showing, that's great. Wait, what the f What just happened? Let's just wait for the timeout. Why? Assigning it the admin role, it should have all the permissions now. Yeah, I am done. I'm literally done. We can finally play the game now. 
let me execute trial and start command and the image which you see here is generated in real time using the emoji files and these emoji files are stored in the app right storage bucket the IDs of these files are mapped from the ones I created in Neo4j using the admin script and cipher queries. After fetching these random emoji files, I put them on a transparent background and voila. There you have it. However, the current anime count is pretty less that's why the titles are repeating. Let's test the challenge leaderboard command which was previously called challenge high scores. It basically displays the top 10 high scores fetched from our AppRite database. The leaderboard gets updated every time a player gets a score higher than their previous high score, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and feel free to invite the bot or join the official Discord server. Links in description. See ya!